one of my favorite individuals to run into at the Ohio State Tournament, Joe Greenlee, Coach Greenlee first off. Is that mustache on your face infectious to the rest of the Bobcats? Because I see a lot of them. Uh, yeah, I think so. At this time of year, it is anyway. At March. Uh, March. First off, my man, Andrew Romanchik, Romanchik, started the season out at 57, gets a bid at 84. I felt pretty good about that, Coach. How did you feel about that? Uh, unbelievable. I'm, I'm proud of the guy. He's come in and did a great job for us. Uh, you know, kind of opportunity for him to wrestle. We didn't know how he'd, how well he or he'd do or wouldn't do. He's done a great job of, of lifting extra, getting stronger, getting bigger, and uh, won a lot of matches for us, which, which helped us win a lot of duels, and uh, he was re rewarded with uh, going to the national tournament. Looking at recruiting now, you know, like you guys are here at the state tournament. I look at the guys you guys have signed. The cupboard is not bare moving forward here at OU. Obviously, you're going to have Walters another year. Romanchek comes back another year. Sparty another year. You got some really good guys. You're losing Harry Hightower. Got Phil back another year. Yep. Looking at that, mixing those guys in with these recruits. Uh, is it Kaminsky? Yep. Uh, Kowalski. Kowalski. Kowalski, Kaminsky. Uh, Cam Kelly. Looking at those guys. I mean, those are blue chippers, coach. What do they got to do to get some Cody Walters, Junkyard, Dogness, slash mix their talent in? Well, you know, I, I think you come there and you fight for everything. The bottom line is you, you got to get away from giving anybody anything. And I think sometimes that, that happens in high school because you're just more talented than other people. When you get to college, you, you can't give anybody anything. You don't give them an escape. You don't give them a reversal. You don't give them a takedown. You fight everything as hard as you can fight it. And I, I think those guys are well on their way to doing that already. You know, looking at this tournament, um, I have a hard time following a coach. I don't know about you. There's so much going on. Are all state tournaments like this where you go and recruit where it's like so many matches going on, a little hard to follow sometimes? Um, well, I think there are a lot of matches going on, but th this one is especially hard. I would love it if they would stop, go all the way through Division Three, matches clear, start Division Two, matches clear, start what Division P What Pennsylvania does? Yeah, Iowa does it. Uh, you know, I think the kids deserve it. You, in some cases, you have a, a 170 pounder wrestling in a, in a three pounder from another division, and it's awful hard to follow then, especially when you get one and two, two divisions into it. It can be a, a lot different. Looking at the Bobcats moving forward, um, we were talking seating blunders this week, all week, and the biggest one to me was, was Walters. You know, he gets a nine seat, and, and, you know, he beats Eblin, and now he gets rewarded with being in the same quarter bracket. And I know you got to beat someone to win the national title. Beat a bunch of guys, but how did you feel about that seed with Cody Walters? Uh, it's all in perception, I think. You know, I think, yeah, there's a lot of seeding blunders. You know, was Cody Walters the most egregious one? No, I don't think so. Was for me. Uh, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of them, and it's just hard to figure out what they're asking for. In some cases, they're, they're trying to tell you, hey, wins during the year mean the most. Well, if wins during the year mean the most, what about Kendig not being seated? Uh, if your conference tournament means the most, what about Cody Walters not being seated higher than he is? I just have a hard time figuring it out, and I guess we're going to have a meeting and we'll try to figure it out. Uh, the way I look at it is this. You have to beat those people anyway. I'd rather have a lot of those people in the quarters and semis where there's no pressure as opposed to in the finals where there is. All right, Coach. Finals coming up. About to start. You got anything else for me? I'm excited. I love high school wrestling. There's been a lot of good wrestling out there tonight, and it'll be fun to watch. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time. Good luck. See you in St. Louis. All right. Thank you.